we found a game to play. We were looking at this. Uh, we're looking at new games to play. This one's not exactly new because it came out two days ago, Sarah. It came out on Saturday. Hi, Dragoness. Welcome back in. But welcome back. Welcome back. <clears throat> so I purchased this game. It's a dollar ninety nine. Um, it's a game about going and saving hostages in a top-down shooter. It's like it's worth two bucks from watching mm -hmm. the trailer. Um, it's made by a developer named Evil Bunny. Um, let's take a quick look. Oh, see. <laughs> oh they they have other Evil Bunny. Evil Bunny. They have a couple -N -N -E other games. N E H. Okay. They just okay. uh the, this one came out about a year ago. A beat 'em up. It looks like casual mm -hmm. adventure. That one's only getting 60% positive reviews. And then we have, um, they came out with a game a couple of, uh, a couple of months ago. And it's another beat em up. Evil Bunny. There we go again back in October. I, I like that. And how many, this one has mixed reviews. A couple of positives, one negative. Okay. You like what? The. Beat him up? Or are you the name of the developer? The name. The name. How you doing, Jeffrey? What's going on, man? Welcome to the stream. Uh, hi, Jeff. Jeffrey. Welcome in. All right. So we're gonna get into this brand new game by Evil Bunny. Hopefully, it's uh better than the last two uh outings by this developer. Same price, a dollar ninety nine. Um, yeah. What just... was wrong with the other two? Well, it looks like they weren't exactly knocking it out of the park. Maybe we can. Uh, maybe we can. Give them a little bit of recognition here. Hopefully this game will be worth it. Zaxter 99. At the end of the 21st century, mega corporations Oh, so it's not Mage Corporation. I think it said Mage Corporations on the Steam page. Mega Corporations came to power through the corruption in the governments of the world. Driven only by profits, these corporations mine resources to fuel their production machines. As a result, severe climate changes occurred across the planet. Um, with harsh weather conditions and heavy pollution, most of the planet became nearly inhabitable. While the majority of people were suffering in the slums, the elite of the humanity enjoyed their privileged life in an isolated, high-tech, self-sustained biodome. The primary object of their obsession was an extract from genetically engineered plant in the corporation's laboratories that greatly extended human lifespan and granted immunity from diseases. Well, wouldn't that be nice, huh? I don't know that I'd want to live forever, though. Um, with this product on the market, the corporations gained ultimate control over the domes and their governors. Many rebellion groups arose from the ashes and fought the elite in an attempt to overthrow the government. These groups were declared a high threat and corporation were given full authority to deal with this threat by any means necessary. Down to the rebellion threat and ensure a stable uh, production of the product, a special type of clone was genetically produced as a means of security. These clones were placed inside the facilities and were only activated in case of an immediate threat. Their only objective was to eliminate the rebel threat and secure the elite personnel. Clone units were called the Tactical Retaliation Squad. Alright, I think we set the stage. Alright, press any key. Frontier TRS. Settings. Let's take a look at the settings real quick. Music, audio volume. Take that down a little bit. At least they Quality. have sliders. Yeah, at least they have a slider. I agree. Mm -hmm. No resolution, no full screen or anything like that. But we'll take it. I mean, it's a buck ninety nine. So, um, select the game session size. A longer session will generate larger levels with more enemies and hostages to secure. Please note that with every playthrough, the levels are being randomly generated depending on the game session size selected. During each game session, you'll need to secure all the hostages to complete the mission. Pay attention to the motion scanner in the bottom right as it'll track nearby enemies and objectives. So small to start with, and uh, see what that's up. See what's up with that? <laughs> what the hell's going on? Sound effects. All right. Yeah, alarms going on.
no jump button. That's a that's a melee. So wait a minute, what am I doing? Okay, so space is a melee I'm attack. I'm not for sure what you're doing. I was spamming space <laughs> trying to jump. I want to jump, damn it! All right. Oh. So we can't can't um change the camera angle. Kind of disappointing. All right. Here's our first hostage. Okay, you done? Try to get E or what? F? I don't want to shoot her. I think that, yeah. I think you just go near them and they oh, automatically save. All right, Dragoness, take care. Have a good evening. A lot of blood. A heal over time, it looks like. That's, that's a. A bit of blood there. They're hostage. Okay. okay. Cool. Are there? They just. Did they just? Up... Yeah, they that just. That one disappeared. Yeah, they just disappear when they're saved. We got thirty-five oh, left. Are you sure that's it, or? I'm pretty sure. Is it something else? No, I don't think this game's that complex. We'll see what happens here. See, see if we have thirty-four left after that. Yep, thirty-four. They just automatically. I guess they you have to walk close to them. I died. Uh, Good thing I chose the uh, easy one, huh? Was there a how to play? No. Oh. Okay. Hi, Kristana. I just got to be more careful. <laughs> yes. Hey, mateys. <laughs> you too. <laughs> this game is a dollar nineteen or something like that on Steam right now, guys. A dollar ninety nine regular price. It just came out a couple of days ago. Yeah, it's a good thing that alarm turns off after so long, because that would get annoying. Oh God! Oh, jeez. Can you crouch or anything? I don't think so. Nope. Okay. Nope. Can't jump. Can't crouch. Can't. Can't duck. Can't do anything. Yeah, right mouse button does nothing. A, a um, how to would have been nice, or something that shows the keys that you push through them would help out greatly. God dang it. All right. Okay, so you you just want to be careful and hide if you have to because you're you do heal over time, so. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like this is brilliant AI. They're just gonna let me come back here and heal. Mm. So it, it's just static. He doesn't really move anywhere. It just kind of stands there. Right. Yeah, I can see if the, if the first two games by this developer or anything like this. I mean, I don't know what kind of a kit they use to make this game, but. Maybe they use an it asset needs... kit or... I've... Yeah, it just needs some improvement. Oh, what am I doing? That's a, that's a hostage. What am I doing? Something. Don't shoot a hostage. Thank God it wouldn't let me. <laughs> yeah, we got 34 left. <laughs> You're like, oh, oh, no, wait, Destructible environments would be really nice in a game like this, too. Mm. Why are you shooting the fish tank? Just to see if I can... Okay. Well, you left I... bullet holes. I can, I can't leave bullet holes, but... Yeah, I mean... Water, and, and they just... It fixes it. To take this uh, over the top, I feel like the, you know, the glass shattering and water spraying out water would be and yeah that would be, that really would be nice. that would be amazing mm -hmm. yeah. yeah i got a couple of achievements good area there's a bitch over here i'll stick you back there yeah and you can't shoot the hostages either here won't let you so So, I mean, it, it lets you know when you've got a hostage, too. Yeah. It makes that little cheap sound. Oh, 
I kind of have a feeling this is an asset kit, a full-fledged mm -hmm. asset kit. I don't Possibly, think. Possibly, or they Oops. just need to <laughs> keep shooting the hostages. Um, or they just need to put more work into what they've already done. Yeah, one of the two. Mm -hmm. Usually, again, this is a game that you would expect to pay more for based on the graphic. You would expect to pay five, ten bucks. A lot of times, asset flips are games, you know, it's, it's made from a kit and the price is a little bit too good to be true. And when you play the game, like it looks too good to be true on the trailer on Steam, which is exactly what this game did. And then a lot of times with complete asset flips or whatever as well, the game will feel really incomplete. So for example, we don't have the destructible environments. We don't have a Steam leaderboard. We don't have a lot of things that you might expect from a full-fledged game. Um, but the graphics are nice and everything like that. But a lot of times that's the result of a developer using an asset kit. My hunch is that this is a asset flip. The developer probably did nothing except change the name and maybe adds, added some achievements or whatever. But I don't think the developer did a lot of work. I could be wrong. I hope I am. But I've been doing this for quite some time and this reeks of an asset flip. You've been doing this for a lot of years now. Yeah. Like I say, I hope I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. <laughs> also, also, if this wasn't I an asset... I really hope you're wrong, but you know what I mean. <laughs> if this I wasn't an asset... Just, yeah, if this uh, wasn't an asset flip, flip then um, we would have... Mm -hmm. The AI would be better than it is. And usually asset flips are just foundations for games to make your own. And... Um, yeah, I mean, this isn't exactly the uh, Hotline Miami or whatever it is, the game that's sold a million copies that just has a really smart AI and, uh, you know, really super challenging. This is just bare bones. Hey, just say it. All right, you guys be free. Be free, my man. <laughs> and with the, uh, I feel oh, like yes, yes, Chris, Christana, Christana, it was. <clears throat> um, you take this over the top. I mean, you really want to get better AI. You want to have, you want to add like health kits to the game and don't have you automatically heal. Um, having health kits that you can pick up at certain points would make this game way better than just. This is just too easy. Um. Mm -hmm. Just hide and heal because the AI is way too stupid to come after you. No destructible environments, no health kits, no well, ammo. For some people, that would be a bonus that yeah. they can just hide and heal. Um, yeah. Yes, I'm sure some people wouldn't mind that. Um, it just gives you a ton of ammo to start with. Again, probably because they don't want to give you any kind of ammo, you know, to pick up or anything like that. But that just makes a really bland game, in my opinion. I mean, there's just so many games like this that are better. Yeah, you might have to pay a little bit more for it, but you're going to get a game that's uh, just superior in every way. I mean, the graphics are nice, but... Okay, that's the end of that. We got one guy. You can look at the radar down there. See, you probably can't go in any of these stores or anything. Mm -mm. No. no, I don't think it's interactive in that respect. You can't run with ship, you can't crouch, you can't jump. You go up here? No. No, you're in the other area. So we'll play this first easy level. We'll see if I can beat the first, you know, the small map or whatever. But if you play the medium, if you play the medium or the bigger map, it's not going to be any harder. It's just going to be bigger. Oh. You think? Yep. I think so. We'll we'll take a look, but.
And the way developers compensate for lack of AI in games like this is just to give you a million, million stupid soldiers. That's how they try to make the game challenging. Yeah, let's not make smart enemies. Let's just make 10 million of them. <laughs> Is that any, um, okay, so this, the, uh... There's one behind you. Well, they do have one that moves. Yeah. But, I think it's just one certain one that moves. They don't all move. You know what I'm talking about? Look at look at this. Look how stupid this AI is. He knows I'm here, but he's not even he's not even gonna come over here and get me. Like, here's one. That's no, a little there bit is smarter. Moving. Yeah. Like I said, there there is one that does move towards your position. Ah, here we go. But, oh no, there we are. Huh. There is a little bit of intelligence to him. Not much. But not much, but <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. There's one in the corner you didn't get yet. Up here? Nope. Mm -mm. Yeah, I think I got them all. You can see them on the radar down there. The hostages are oranges, the enemies are red. Mm -hmm. Hi, buddy. The map also isn't a very good map as far as, like, the radar is not showing you, like, where rooms are or anything. Kind of disappointing. Right. Oh. Did you go through all of Zone 10? I don't think you did. There we go. The only reason I knew to go this way is because of the red dots. over here. There he is. Come here, buddy. Be free. <laughs> yeah, instead of having the hostages just disappear, it'd be nice to see him, like, run off, you know, or see, see a, one of your guys, like, you know, safely take him off or something off the screen. I mean, I guess it works. And I know some people will watch this video and they'll be like, well, Zaxer, you only paid a little, barely over a dollar for this game. What do you expect, you know? Well, I expect a little bit of effort by the developer and not what feels like an asset flip. We have had games that were 99 cents or less um, that did seem to have more time. And there's no threat to the hostages of getting shot or anything like that, which is also pretty lame. I mean, you would, in, a, in this kind of a situation, you would want a real risk to the hostages you're trying to save too, you know? Like if you have to, Kill all the uh, soldiers before before you rescue anybody. So they don't get killed. It's just pretty mindless, boring gameplay. Uh, 
because, like I said, I'm pretty sure this is just an asset flip. Probably a kit available on the Unity Asset Store. The developer just bought this kit just like it is and changed the name, put in a few uh, achievements, which is really easy to do, and puts it up for a buck ninety-nine. Like this is probably a kit for like twenty bucks or something like that on Unity Store. Would be my guess. All right, we got. I'll oh, go this way, maybe. Like you have to go around. Around, yeah. <clears throat> I don't think you can go that way. I think you have to go around around. Around around the long way, yeah. Like yeah. The, the long way. way yep. Yeah. Which would be nice. We have six yeah. hostages left and then we're done. Nice shooting maybe. Yeah, this game's too easy. There we go. Nope. Up. Hmm. I still have 257 bullets left. Yeah, you, you would hope that this game, when you start off, like, maybe you don't have any ammo at all, and you gotta find some, or maybe you just have, like, 20 shots or something like that, you gotta find ammo. You know, um, health kits as well, when you take, instead of just auto-healing. Stuff like that would make this game be a lot better. But you wouldn't expect the developer to actually do any work, right? Heal. Yeah, I see this. <laughs> you left. One. One over there. Oh, yeah. All right, buddy, be free. Never mind, I'm gonna shoot you. It's not gonna do you any good. <laughs> That's fired 629 bullet hits. All right. And then just right back to the screen. Yeah, I knew this was gonna happen. And we'll see if I'm right, guys. Is I think it's going to be exactly the same thing if we go into a bigger map. It's going to be the exact same mindless, boring gameplay. Um, large. It's just going to be a, a way bigger map. But it's going to be exactly the same. There's not going to be any more challenge to it. There's not going to be any ammo pickups or health kits or anything like that. It's just going to be a huge map. And we'll test that out real quick. We're not going to play this whole level for sure. I mean, all right, guys, I'm about to go to sleep. This is, uh, like I say, the graphics are plenty good, but this is just an asset flip, guys. I guarantee you, this is a freaking asset flip. Um, we're out of here. So, shame on you, developer, for buying an asset kit, guys, and I guarantee you, I'm right. Later on today, maybe tonight after work, I will go find this freaking asset kit. I will link it down under our video tonight. <laughs> Evil and Bunny, I, know you will. <laughs> I will link the asset kit. Uh, I'm not going to spend time looking for it right now, but I guarantee you this is a freaking asset flip. Uh, I've done this too much. I've seen this too much. And um, there you go. Yeah. That is another miss video, guys. Another miss game. Frontier oh, TRS. No. Miss number 83 yeah. with a big fat set zero. And uh, guys, I don't even have to. I already know it's an asset flip. I haven't seen it, but I guarantee it is. And like I said, later when I get more time, when I'm not streaming, I will find the asset kit and.
description.